told now that today a group of the clergy through the NCCK have appealed to me to postpone the Monday protest march. I want to tell them in response that we people of Azimio came to the conclusion that we need to have a protest march after our ultimatum was completely ignored. Secondly, this is going to be a very peaceful procession. And that's why we said we don't want any kind of violence, we don't want any bloodshed. It's going to be peaceful. And I've also said that we don't want any kind of handshake. The people of, of Kenya, Kukwisha, have all the time said, oh, Baba wants handshake. That's why he's doing this. We are not doing this because of handshake. We are doing this because it is the right thing to do, the only alternative we have to be able to get our rights back. Because of that, Monday is on. And I will hereby now declare today, in the name of Azimio, the Omoja One Kenya Alliance Coalition, that Monday, 23rd of March, so, sorry, let me repeat again. We declare that Monday the 20th of March will be a public holiday. Hello? Hello? As many of that opinion say aye, as many of the country opinion say no, the eye is having. Wakati wa kufikiria kwamba hii kampuni imekuja gachie dhana na mwenzake, ya kwamba inaeza edelea Kenya hii, imekui? Imekuisha. Na diyo tumeabatana na baba, leo. Kwa sababu, wale waliwapigia kula, na wale ambao ni wengi waliwapigia azimio kula, wote wako na shida. Kweli si kweli? Sisi wote tuko na shida na mwenye naeza okua sisi wa Kenya. Miraira Amoro Oniga Na wewe kama hawa mjui Hawa wanaitu wa kidakidiki na wenza Kama hawa mjui wa some historia Uyu si mutu ya kucheza nae Hatu naamuka unacheza nae kama di Nyugari Sosa Hakuna Anaerewa Hame kuwako Hame ijeda mbahamo beleni Na hatuna chaka Hatuna tatwishu yoyote Ya kwamba tale hechirini, tuko kule ikuru ya Nairobi. Na wewe, 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 unaona hii sufuria hii? Sakayo na kashia dhera? Hii itapereka wae hegi ukicheza na hii. Hii itapereka wae hegi. Kenya kuna jaa. Semeni jaa. Jaa. Nimeona watu pale nyuma Sijui kama umewaona Kumbe siyaya muneza panda ukuta Muneza panda ukuta Mimi nasikia Ruto amesikia baba na kuja tare jirini Hameanza kueka ukuta kama ule Ile ukuta tunaweza panda hatuwezi Tunapanda hatupande Tunaweza panda kama wale jamaa Hey Basi ruto wako mashakani Hata kiweka ukuta Tuko na watu waneza panda yu ukuta Sindio? Kwanza ni washkuru sana watu wa siyaya Sababu jana tumekua kule puani Pahala panaitu ya kilifi 
kwa yule shujaa Ronald Ngala. Mnakumbuka Ronald Ngala? Alikuwa rafiki sana wa Jaramogi. Na tumetoka kwa Ngala kule Bahari Hindi tumekuja hadi ziwa Victoria kwa Jaramogi. Umetukaribisha? Umetukaribisha? Na tuko hapa sababu hawa wazee waanzilishi wa taifa letu walipigania uhuru wetu ndio tukawa Kenya huru. Hivi sasa asilimia sitina mbili ya wakenya Juzi wamefanya utafiti wa Kenya 62% wanasema nchi yetu imepoteza mwelekeo. Watu wasiaya mnakubaliana na hayo matokeo? Because we are saying if 62% of Kenyans are saying our country is going in the wrong direction, then there's something wrong in the Republic of Kenya. Kweli si kweli? Si tumesema tarehe 20 tunaenda Nairobi kuonana na huyo Ruto Mundu umundu. Muko tayari watu wasiaya? Muko tayari tutembee pamoja? Na sisi twasema hivi ya kwamba kando na yale ambayo amekataa mambo ya servers. Mambo ya IEBC. Sisi twajua yeye alijitangaza kupitia mtu anaitwa Chebukati. Sisi tunajua hakushinda kura. He is in state house sababu ya IEBC. Na yeye ameanza kubadilisha IEBC peke yake. Sisi tumemwambia bwana Ruto asitishe mambo ya unilateral ile anafanya sasa kuteua mambo ya IEBC. Sababu IEBC ikipoteza imani ya Wakenya. Si 2027 tutakuwa na shida. Hakutakuwa haja tena tupige kura with a compromised IEBC. Hiyo ndio tumesema we want an open consultative process. It's not too late. Yeye kusitisha mambo haya. Tuko pamoja? Sisi pia tumesema there is something wrong with our politics in Kenya. Yule Barack Obama ambaye alitoka hapa, Rais wa America alisema the problem with America is not the magnitude of our problems. It is the smallness of our politics. Na ile shida Ah, oh, jamaa amesema hapa nimeongea kizungu maduong. <laughs> Iki <laughs> Iki zungu si ni kama ya Orengo. Ujie si leo tuko USA. Yaani eh ugenya si haya alego, si ndio? Iki zungu yangu by the way, hii sitoi sito USA ile America. Mimi nimetoa tu ya hapa. Mimi nimesomea hapa Homa Bay. Mnajua Gendia? Mnajua Karachonyo? Mimi nimesomea hapa. Na hii kizungu nikichapa sawa sawa mjue inatoka hapa nyanza. Sawa sawa? Sasa nataka nirudie kidogo. Sawa nataka ruto ya nisikia siku ya leo. The problem with Kenya is not the magnitude of our problems. It is the smallness of our politics. Ruto badala ashukishe bei ya vyakula. Amesema subsidy ambazo uhura liweka ye hataki. Yeye nami tulikuwa kwa cabinet na uhuru kenyati. Hakuna kikao hata kimoja ruto alikosa cha baraza la mawaziri. Alikuwa huko hadi siku ya mwisho. Tukipitisha mambo ya subsidy. 18 billion yende kwa mafuta. 2 billion kila mwezi yende kwa vijana wetu wapate kazi mitaani. Tukatoa mabilioni kwa chakula bei shuki. Yeye sasa anasema hataki subsidy. Eti sababu uhuru wa kutumia vizuri. Kama uro wakitumia vizuri, hizi mabilioni ambazo, sasa badaya kuleta chakula Kenya. Ya naenda kununua matrakta wana. Trakta ita wapa chakula hapa mkule saizi. Sisi tumesema, tunataka badala ya yeye kuchukua zile mabilioni, 2 billion ya vijana, kazi mitani, kununua wabunge wenu. Na mimi najua ametake nyanza, jana amenunua viongozi kutoka hapa nyanza. Muliona au mkuona? Kesho, kesho ameita wenzangu kutoka kule western. Anataka kununua viongozi wa kule western. Anunue wabunge, anunue magavana. Badala ya kushikisha stima, pesa zenu ndi ananunua viongozi wenu. Hii ni unguana kweli? Pesa zenu, badala ashukishe maisha. Yeye anatumia hizi pesa kuweka maofisi. Tunasikia hiko ofisi ya yule spouse wa prime. Cabinet Secretary, siji hiko ofisi gani ya naongeza? Nini mutaneza kula maofisi kweli? Munanjaa ha munanjaa? 
So haya ndio mambo tunamwambia asitishe yale let him deal with the problem that is facing Kenyans. Number 1 ni chakula gharama ya maisha. Number 2 tunataka hiyo sava ifunguliwe. Na katiba inaumpa uwezo. Yeye yeah, anasema ati hawezi kuuza sababu sheria haiwezi. You can have a law that might be legal but is not legitimate. Tuko pamoja. Hiyo ndio tunataka tuembee pamoja tunawashukuru kutupa nafasi tuje nyumbani. Tunashukuru baba alisema tukiwa pwani Orenga wamempigia simu akasema watu wa Siaya mmesema baba arudi Siaya dala. Mmemkaribisha? Mmembariki atoke na baraka zenu. Tarehe 20 twende Nairobi. Hiyo ndio tunataka tuseme asante erokamano wa hinya kutukaribisha hapa na tukitoka hapa tuko tun We are going through a revolution. And because we are going through a revolution, we do not fear anybody. Whether you are Gachieta, whether you are Ruto, we do not fear you. Because we know only cowards steal elections. Ruto is a coward, Gachieta is a coward, we do, we do not fear them. We want to give them notice from here in Siaya that we are coming for you. We are coming for you. We are going to vanquish you. We are going to exterminate you. We are going to get you out of state house. Baba, this morning, I was told that because of the fear that the legitimate regime has for you, they have begun to construct a strong perimeter wall around state house. And this perimeter wall is being constructed day and night because they know that on 20th you are going there and we are going to go inside state house. I want to tell them that whether you construct perimeter wall, whether you construct barbed wire fence, whether you put electric fence, we are coming for you and we must get you out of the office. Because the power you are holding belongs to the people of Kenya, the power you are holding belongs to Raila Molodinga. Mambo ya IBC. Jambo ya IBC. Tumesema na lazi baturudie. Ya kuamba tume ya uchaguzi. Sio jambo ya mchezo. On the matter of IBC, we have said and we want to repeat it here in CIA that we have crossed the Rubicon. The battle lines are now clearly drawn because it is not acceptable anywhere in the world that one political formation, which is a player in the political arena, can constitute an electoral commission single-handedly. That has never happened anywhere in the world. And therefore what Ruto and his team are trying to, to do in Kenya, insofar as the reconstitution of the IBC is concerned, is, is tantamount to a declaration of war. Baba menena, na akinena yetu ni kutenda. Hii mambo ilianza ile siku Ruto na serikali yake bandia waliiba kura zetu. Kuiba kura ni kinyume cha sheria, serikali imeundwa kinyume cha sheria, haiwezi kuzungumza mambo ya sheria. Kama wanataka kujua msingi wa kikatiba na mambo ya sheria, waulize azimio ikiongoswa na Raila Amolo Odinga. Sasa Jumatatu tarehe 20 tunaingia state house kufuata kura zetu na kuwauliza je pesa yetu iko wapi Hiyo ndiyo siku yetu ya kuona ya kwamba haki yetu imeturejea Na msiwe na uoga Muko tayari kulipa gharama Tujue Siku ya kuzaliwa ni moja na kuya, ya kuondoka dunia ni moja. Hakuna uoga. Wao ni waoga wameanza kujenga ukuta. Ujenge ukuta, ujenge u, 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 upanye nini, uchimbe shimo, uende wapi, tarehe 20 gojea sisi. Na kama, kama, Amegusu wa roho na aone amekosea wa Kenya, basi ya funge virago wa ruti kwao. Kama hata.
atafanya hivyo tutamsaidia na nataka kuelezea sisi si watu wa fujo sisi ni watu wa kufuata haki sisi ni watu wa amani tutaenda vile katiba imeturuhusu kwenda kwa njia ya amani na mwananchi hana nguvu za fujo those who have a monopoly of violence is the state agencies na kwa hivyo mimi naomba polisi wetu naomba jeshi na wale wote wa security wakumbuke katiba imempatia mwananchi mkenya ruhusa ya maandamano imetupatia ruhusa ya kufika jumba lote la serikali kupeleka maralamishi yetu wakituona tukiendea state house waelewe nyumba ni yetu na sisi tunaenda kuuliza haki yetu tunawauliza wawe na utulivu wakiona mwananchi piga mwananchi salute na muondokee barabara apite wakifanya hivyo wakifanya hivyo mambo yote itakuwa swali sababu mwananchi hana silaha wewe ukiwa na silaha ukiitumia vibaya ndio unaweza leta furugu katika nchi ya Kenya na tunamtumia ujumbe William Ruto ya kwamba ukumbuke ukumbuke ya kwamba mtu akifanya makosa hata uwe kwa madaraka nchi yako isipokushtaki unaweza shtakiwa e. akumbuke alipiga hiyo safari kwa hivyo asiende akaulize polisi wafanye kinyume cha sheria kama ulichaguliwa basi usiogope wananchi wacha watembee lakini kama unajua huku chaguliwa funga virago na kwenda zako mimi nataka kukumbusha wale wote wanafanyia serikali kasi hata kama ni wa security wewe una shida kama mkenya hakuna baina kuu ya unga ya watu wa security uelea mbele mimi nawaomba tujitolee tuingie na robi zote kwa njia ya amani tukomboe nchi yetu wananchi wawache kuumia nikimalizia bagana niko tayari kulipa gharama sitasimama